the final lesson in modern physics is about the standard model. The standard model of particle physics describes the elementary particles and the forces by which they interact. Elementary particles are the smallest constituents of matter. These particles are not composed of other smaller particles. These are truly the building blocks of the universe. There are two types of elementary particles. These are known as quarks and leptons. Quarks are elementary particles that combine to form composite particles known as hadrons. There are six what we call flavors or types of quarks. The first quarks discovered were the up and down quarks. The next two quarks to be discovered are known as the charm and strange quarks. The final quarks to be discovered are known as the top and bottom quarks. You can see that the up, charm, and top quarks all have a charge of positive two-thirds of an elementary charge, and the down, strange, and bottom quarks all have a charge of negative one-third elementary charge. Just because some of these particles have the same charge doesn't mean that they're the same. There are many other properties of particles. One very obvious one is mass. Although charm quarks have the same charge as ups, they're more massive, and top quarks are more massive still. Leptons are elementary particles that do not combine to form larger particles. There are also six flavors of leptons. There are the electron and the electron neutrino, the muon and the muon neutrino, and the tau and the tau neutrino. You can see that the electron, the muon, and the tau all have a charge of negative one elementary charge, and that all the varieties of the neutrino are neutral. Each quark and lepton has an associated antiparticle. Antiparticles have the same mass as the particle, but the opposite charge. And antiparticles use the same symbol as the particle, but they have a line drawn over it. For instance, we have the up quark with a charge of positive two-thirds elementary charge, and we have the anti-up quark, see the line, with a charge of negative two-thirds elementary charge. Now we can talk about the classification of matter. Anything in the universe that is not pure energy is matter. Matter can be divided into two main categories. The first is leptons, which we've already learned about. These are not made of anything smaller and do not combine to form anything bigger. Then we have hadrons. Hadrons are particles that are composed of quarks. There are two types of hadrons. The first are known as baryons. All baryons are made of either three quarks or three antiquarks. The other type of hadron is known as a meson. All mesons are made up of one quark and one antiquark. Let's take a look at a couple of very familiar examples of hadrons. Protons and neutrons are hadrons and are only composed of up and down quarks. Let's take a look at the quark composition of the proton. In order to end up with the charge of the proton with which we are familiar, the proton must be composed of two up quarks and a down quark. This could be written as UUD, and this gives us positive one elementary charge. Now let's take a look at the quark composition of the neutron. A neutron is composed of one up and two down quarks. This could be written as up, down, down. And of course, we end up with a charge of zero. Finally, we have to mention the four fundamental forces of the universe. The weakest of the four forces is gravity, which is a natural phenomenon by which physical bodies attract each other with a force proportional to their masses. The force of gravity has an infinite range. The next strongest force is known as the weak nuclear force, and this is responsible for the radioactive decay of subatomic particles and it initiates the process of hydrogen fusion in stars. The weak nuclear force has a very short range. The next strongest force is the electromagnetic force, which is responsible for the interaction of electrically charged particles and the interaction of magnetic fields with electrical conductors. The electromagnetic force has an infinite range. The final and strongest force is known as the strong nuclear force which is responsible for the binding of quarks into hadrons and the binding of hadrons like protons and neutrons into larger particles.
The strong nuclear force has a short range, 